Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to online learning. Today we are going to learn how to shade different Venn diagram regions. We are going to start from pretty basics and then we will move towards difficult ones. So stay tuned. First of all, we usually denote our universal set with the help of our rectangle and all set present in universal set are denoted by circles. If there are two sets, you will denote it by two circles. If there is another set, you will show with the help of another circle. So this is denoted by U and we call it uni universal set second thing is union what is union it means that everything whenever you are going to shade union of any two or three sets you have to shade each and everything present in those sets intersection What is intersection? Intersection is denoted by this sign and intersection means what is in common between two sets or three sets or you can say that whatever two sets are sharing. It means that intersection is related to whatever is common between them or you can say it is whatever they are sharing okay next i will tell you one by one i have six diagrams over here few are related to union and few are related to intersection and there is another thing as well complement so we will discuss one by one that how to shade these type of cases first one is a it means that from this union set this rectangular one is union set one set is A, other is set B. You have to shade only A part. So I will represent it by pink color. So this whole set is my set A. Okay, now come to this complement part. Complement means difference of set A, or you can say that A dash is equals to universal set minus a means whatever is present in a that would be excluded from u so other than a is your a complement opposite of a is your a complement so how to color this how to denote a dash means leaving that a we will shade all other portion of that so this pink portion is your A complement. I am representing this part with yellow color so you would have a clear idea. Whatever is in A that you have to leave it and this pink portion is your A complement all other than A. Okay, third one, A union B. I just told you before that union means you have to shade everything present in A and B. You just have to follow A union B just you as you follow instruction like whatever is present in A and it's present in B as well you have to shade those both. So I am going to shade it whatever present in A and whatever is present in B so this whole pink and yellow area including the center one is your A union B mean whatever I have colored pink or yellow that is your A union B next is A intersection B now follow the instruction which would be our set A this is my set A I am shading it with blue color. Next, I am taking green color to shade 
my B. I have shaded hole B and hole A. And as I told you that intersection is the portion where two sets are sharing their common element means common portion as intersection. So only this part where you can see blue lines and green line is common area which is representing A intersection B. This was A union B. It means whatever is present in A and whatever was present in B, everything present in both is your A union B. And this will be opposite of that one means whatever is present in B and whatever is present in A, you have to unite them. But complement means opposite of that one. So outer region will be this was I am doing it again following step by step instruction. I am coloring portion A. I am coloring portion B. This pink portion is A union B. But I have to shade. I have to show by my shading A union B complement. So A union B complement means except A union B I have to show its complement. So this yellow region is showing that A union B complement. Okay just we have discussed about A intersection B. What is A intersection B? This center portion intersection means the portion which is common between two sides. So this portion is common between two sides. In this part I have to take complement of it means opposite whatever was common between two sides I have to take opposite of those this was my a intersection B it means if I will take opposite of that one I have to color all except this yellow portion so this light green portion is your a intersection B complement I am repeating once again you have to keep those in mind that A union B that everything present in A and everything present in B you have to take everything but if it's a complement you have to take opposite of that one means excluding A union B you will take all the region in the same way intersection means whatever they are they are sharing or whatever is common between two sets so that is a intersection b but if you will take complement of that it means that excluding a intersection b you just have to color other than that so this was a intersection b yellow part i have to color its outer part so outer part is my a intersection b complement Okay, for these four cases, again you have to follow step by step instructions. I am taking two colors to show you this. Uh, A union B dash means everything, union means everything, everything present in A and B dash will be this shaded part. So, first of all, I have to color hole A with this pink color and then B dash. B dash means exclude this B and remaining you have to color. So I am going to color it. So in union you have to take common and uncommon both. So this pink area is uncommon. This green area is uncommon. This pink and green area is common one. So you have to take this all colored area whether it's pink or whether it's green because you have to take union, you have to take everything. So just this part you have to exclude which I am going to color with yellow. This would be excluded. This yellow part would, would be excluded. Okay, next is A complement union B complement whatever is present in a complement you have to unite it with B complement now what is your A complement take pink color and color it exclude A from it and color the remaining part of that 
I am going to exclude A from it and coloring the remaining part universal set and B. Next I have to take another color to show it to you people so you would have clear idea that you have to exclude B and color the remaining part. So this is my B. I have to exclude this B and color the remaining part. Now see which is my A complement union B complement. It is all shaded region whether it's green whether it's pink or whether it's both pink and green so only this part will not be included because you don't have to unite it you have to take complement of a then complement of b and you have to take everything whatever and complement of a and b so this part will not be included in this other shaded region is answer of this one. okay this is Related these two cases are related to your intersection and intersection means sharing or common part So first of all, I am going to color it with this blue color a I Have colored it a Next I am taking yellow color to show you B complement B complement means whatever is not present in B so I will leave this B circle and remaining I have to color it. After coloring now I have to see that as I have to take common portion so what is common portion this portion is my common which is turning to green blue and yellow only this part I am taking another color to show you that which is your common portion this is your a intersection b complement right this which i have just colored it pink last from this a complement whatever is not present in a you have to color them so just leave this a circle and color remaining part I am going to color it now next step is these are just like step by step instruction next step is to color B dash whatever is not present in this circle you have to color remaining part so I am going to color remaining part I just have left this B so now you can see which is the common part where two colors are merging blue and yellow that is your common part with a sharing parts so that is this one outer one part let me show you with another color so this this part is common here you can see only yellow color here you can see only blue color but in the outer part excluding these two parts a and b this outer part is your intersection of a complement and b complement okay here we go we have two disjoint set i want to discuss these two cases with you people because these are uh, more trickier than the previous ones as they are both disjoint set and i think you all know about the disjoint sets when nothing is common between them they are called disjoint sets so here we go this is set x and this is set y now again follow step by step instructions i have to color x intersection y so whatever is in x i will color that and next i am going to color whatever is present in y Is there anything common between them no as its intersection and there is nothing common between them it means that it's empty set so its complement would be all universal set and these both sets will be included in this as well it means that 
here nothing was in common so your answer will be universal set for this i can show you with the help of example i am taking i am let's suppose that x is a set which is equals to 1 2 and 3 and there is another set y which is equals to 4 5 and uh, 6 as you can see nothing is common between these two i made it according to this and there is another set universal set which is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so here we go another set universal set okay now if uh, first i have to find x intersection y whatever is common between these both two sets so nothing is common between them it's an empty set now this empty set i have to find complement of it and you all know that complement means universal set minus x intersection y as it is empty set nothing is common between these two so unique elements of universal sets are all one two three four five six and seven it means that answer of this one is whole universal set you can see now come to this one x dash union y dash so first of all x complement other than x leave x and color the remaining part secondly you have to leave y and color remaining part and as it is union you have to take common and uncommon both so again answer of this would be your universal set again see this example if same sets i am taking with this example when i will find first i have to find out y x dash x dash means unique element of u which are not present in x so they will be four five six and seven in the same way y dash is unique elements of u which are not present in y and those are 1 2 3 and 7 and when i will unite these both complements it is equals to 1 2 so on till 7 and this is your universal set So this is how we learn to shade Venn diagram in different cases. I hope you like my video so don't forget to write in comment box. Thank you so very much. Allah Hafiz.